And speaking in downtown Fresno, Andrew Martin was at the Selland Arena this afternoon where uh, he spoke with a former Fresno State basketball player. So how was that? Well, uh, it was nice to hear his story. Alicia, I talked to Chris Heron, longtime Fresno State basketball fans will know him as a former point guard on the team in the late 1990s. He was also known for having substance abuse problems. Heron played for the Bulldogs from 1997 through 1999 specifically. A lot has changed in his life since then, and that's why he came back to Fresno. It's been a great experience, you know, and, and I, I tried to do things right over the past, you know, two years, year and a half. I just hope kids can learn from that. As it turns out, Chris Heron didn't follow his own advice for another nine years. Alcohol, cocaine, heroin. He was addicted to all of them. Most colleges would have threw, threw a kid out on the street, and they didn't. And, uh, you know, Fresno State and the people always were always there for me to pick me up. Yeah. Heron once left Selland Arena to go to rehab. He's 35 now, and on Sunday, he returned there. It was good energy in this place. For the first time since he wore a Bulldog jersey. Running around the court is something that I will, uh, I will always cherish, and, uh, and always, it was always something I looked forward to, and um, I'll never forget it. Just like Bulldog fans will never forget that Heron was a good player. He was Fresno State's point guard and his third all-time in assists, but he never made it in the NBA, and that's the real reason Heron returned to Fresno this weekend. It's the reason he wrote his book, Basketball Junkie. It's emotional for me. I went through some serious highs and some serious lows, all because of me. Um, and uh, this community uh, embraced me during highs and during lows. Able to come back here and kind of reminisce with some people, but also uh, make my amends, um, my personal amends. Heron is already doing that in Rhode Island, where he lives. He's been drug-free and sober since 2008. He now works for substance abuse centers in addition to running his own company, Hoop Dreams. It teaches and inspires young kids to play basketball. Unless you lived in the world I lived in, you don't know the places that I've been. And, and there's a lot of people out there that are in those same places. He's not one of them anymore, thankfully. More than 200 people attended Chris Heron's book signing today. I asked him, Alicia, why it took him so long to return to Fresno after getting sober. He said he didn't have a lot of money after his drug addiction. He also said he wanted to spend time with his wife and kids, which he's done.